As I introduced in previous videos, there are basically different ways of arranging Darwin portfolios. Firstly, you can have fixed portfolios based on some determined and specific set of characteristics that you have detected on some Darwins. For example, you can select a Darwin that trades certain currency pairs, let's say, or that trades stock CFDs, and this way achieve a less correlated portfolio. Other example could be to select Darwins based on their background strategy type. Secondly, you can have variable portfolios based on some predetermined filter like an X amount of returns or a drawdown percentage. You have these two examples coded up in the, this, the Asset Universe class that we previously seen in Sol in the previous video. You can build easily pan data frames out of the data and use it to form a strategy. Depending on the initial idea on how to arrange your portfolio, you will end up with also different possibilities in terms of the allocation algorithms to use. In the example I will finally run at the end of this video tutorials, I will be using an algorithm from the online portfolio selection module of the ML Finland package. Let me show you how I have engineered the grappers so that you can test the algorithms directly on Darwin portfolios. You can find all the needed documentation for the algorithms in the MLFinLab website that you will find in the video description. Just a brief definition about the online portfolio selection methodologies. They are based on capital growth theory, compared to those related to portfolio optimizations that are based on Markovich uh, ideas. Although the ones presented in Machine Learning FinLab package hold many innovations. Simply said, these algorithms are focused on generating capital growth more than generated risk-adjusted returns. That is why, as you will see if you execute the different scripts available, allocations will be most of the times less diversified compared to those of the portfolio optimization package. Also, as they are centered around those capital growth, they try to exploit a specific market dynamics based on historical correlations, rather than look at for the risk associated to the different assets present on the portfolio. This makes sense as the, as the objective is, as said, capital growth, and that is accomplished via exploitation. Portfolio Optimization School tries to achieve the best risk just the returns possible. That is why the diversification happens to be more prominent. You have a link to a paper that talks ex extensively about these two approaches and methods so that you can expand if needed. The package is organized with different folders. The benchmark folder holds benchmarking algorithms so that you can test your final models and compare them. Mean reversion, momentum, and pattern matching are algorithms that will try to exploit those specific dynamics of the portfolio. All the scripts hold the same structure. The only thing you will need to change are related paths to work in your environment or the different parameters that some algorithms use. As you can see here, like that the structure is the same on all the scripts. Let's, let's execute some of them. Let's get a benchmark initially. There you go. Pretty damn good returns on curve, right? Let's see if with this portfolio of these Darwins that we have right here, if we go to data and open the closed portfolio, price portfolio CSV, you will see the Darwin's that we are using for this little backtesting here. Let's try now with um, uh, mean reverting algorithm. Let's try RMR as the mean reversion algorithm. There it goes, it takes some time. Let's see what is the final result. Well, not so good. Let's go with a momentum-based one. Let's close this also on the benchmark. Let's go with the follow the leader regularized. Well, it's a bit better. Finally, let's try it out a pattern matching one, the corner K. There it goes.
Well, it takes more time to calculate, but it seems that yields a more stable equity curve. Let's now finally run the hierarchy call. Let me show you where is this algorithm that we're going to run right now. Let's close this and let's go to the optimizations folder. Let's open up and let's run now run the hierarchical equal risk contribution strategy. As previously stated, you can see how the weight allocation is more diversified. If you look at the generated dendrograms, you can get some interesting insights. Just think about how the algorithm is doing the clustering and if it, that adds value on how each Darwin behaves. There is plenty of room for research, so be brave and try out things. See you in the next one.